which shall reflect on the life of Saint Rose of Viterbo, the daughter of poor and pious parents. Saint Rose showed remarkable holiness in her early childhood. At the age of seven, she was already practicing penitential austerities and living as a recluse. In response to Our Lady's command, she joined the Third Order of St. Francis when about ten and started to preach public penance in the streets of Viterbo in Italy. For two years, she exhorted the citizens to remain faithful to the Pope and to resist Emperor Frederick II of Germany, who at that time held the city. The spirited young girl spoke with such power and apparent authority, accompanying her pleas with such remarkable miracles that the imperial prefect came to consider her influence a serious threat to his own authority and so banished her from Viterbo with her family. As a result, Rose went about all the neighboring cities and towns continuing a crusade for the Pope there. Rose had the gift of prophecy and foretold the imminent death of the Emperor ten days in advance. In the town of Vitorciano, she found that a sorceress had succeeded in perverting the minds of many of the townsfolk. Rose brought about their conversion by remaining unscattered for three hours in the midst of a burning pie, a miracle which is well attested. When the Pope's power was restored in Viterbo in the year 1251, Rose returned to a native city and asked for admission to the convent of poor Clares, but was refused. Thereupon, she went to live in a small cell on the outskirts of Viterbo, foretelling that she would be admitted to the convent after her death. And so it happened indeed, for not long after she had died the following spring at the age of 17, Pope Alexander IV ordered her remains to be interred at the convent of the poor Clares. She was canonized in 1454 by Pope Callistus III. On the eve of a feast annually, 70 men carry her body through the streets in a triumphal procession, surmounted by a 60-foot-high wooden tower of Gothic design.